sometimes we're going to do in class is have a kind of a quasi practice exercise um if you're watching this video for whatever reason um this is a little bit of a brain teaser to get you to really think about the same things so these are the three goals of this course so let's start with the first goal exploring functional architecture so Goals are not just 
This 
where we're at and we're just going to keep our eye on that and we're going to make sure that we get the right answer and we're going to follow the right body of his teaching in the way that ought to be and ought to go and ought to obtain that means that we can go to that place where we can build our faith and his body of Christ and all of us together building up that body by faith and by faith alone that we can be there to witness to the world that God has called us to be all of this is part of the message of this morning and I hope it gives us some real happy energy now what I want to do
Jesus would go to the cross. That justice would be poured out on him. That he would be punished for his sin. That he would be forgiven for his sin. Once and for all. And that is what the resurrection accomplishes. Moving on to the second part of this prayer about the blessing of the Father. Now we have to look at this blessing in its full corporate meaning. The next thing I want us to look at is the fact that Mary had one son. on the one hand, that it was a joy to the Father to be able to see the Son of Man fulfill His purpose. To see the Father fulfill His purpose and to pour out His blessing so that we can enjoy it and be with Him forever. To see the ecstatic relation of the pouring out of the blessing of the Son so that we can enjoy it forever. It is a great joy for us to know the Father and have that joy and have that blessing and to relate to Him and relate to the Father and have the joy and pour it out like the pouring out doesn't just eliminate the pain, but at least it gives us a sense of the enjoyment of it. So there is a lot of relation to the Father in the effort of pouring out that blessing on us. And finally, the highest joy of all, the highest joy of all, is to see the Son fulfill His purpose. So it's really vital for us to see the fulfillment of that that we have learned from the Son in the Father. For it looks like it's going to end in a real Thank you. 
Thank you. 
out of the way. If you think about it, um, this is a very simple way of understanding why the Holy Spirit fills the church of God. And uh, to derive this simply is to understand that the Holy Spirit is the one who sends the Holy Spirit to do the great Um, 